Hi everybody, this is Santani from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I thought I'd do this very quickly. Um, I promised some people that I was going to show them how to make some, um, some ephemera with scraps. So I've done a few and I thought, um, let me just um, bring you along quickly. So these are made with relative scraps over here. And I've just added some lace on some. I've added some acetate on on some here. And I've added uh, scraps of uh, tracing paper. Okay, you can use vellum um, on, the, on them as well. And then I just wanted to show you quickly and how they are used. So I used uh, one of the ones that I made on my uh, tab. I mean, sorry, tag and um, let's see very quickly on this one here i used it here and used it on this tag over here okay the difference here is that i just used a um a, a brad instead of a um, eyelet and then i know i used it somewhere else as well just trying to figure out we so I hope you'll have had a good day so far and that you are enjoying crafting um, I'm not sure now I'm not sure okay I will look for it and I'll show it to you but what I just did is I added it to a page like that so it becomes an embellishment okay. so let's get started I'll just move these off the table quickly and then I'll bring in my mat so what are we working with so we've got I've cut um, a strip of this and these were the page, the, the parts that I had left over, and that is my tracing paper, and this is my box of um, stuff that I'm going to work from. As you can see, that was, a, yeah, it was part of um, something that I printed. So the border. All right, so let's take a few of these strips. I don't think I want to make this pretty quick, so going to and and the reason why I didn't choose these beforehand is I wanted you to see I wanted you to see the strips then that we work with and it's really coming out from absolute um, you know what's the word I'm looking for real these are real scraps <laughs> yeah okay so yeah I think that's more than enough more than enough that we're working with. So we're going to work with these here and then we're going to work with some stamps and some um, breads and some um, well, what's this distressed ink. Okay so let's prepare what we want to first. I think what I want to do first is I want to stamp my um, my butterflies or whatever I want to uh, on the tracing paper so it gives it some time to dry okay and just one more thing let's pull out some of these here so let's pull out some words okay let's use some words I don't know what I'm pulling out I'm just pulling out some words definitely excuse me not going to be using all that but let's leave it to one side over there okay and these words are my inspirational words and if i haven't put them as yet in my etsy store i will they are um, basically uh, i think it comes in eight colors and then there are 60 inspirational words and um, i think it's 20 620 I can't remember fully sorry about that 
Uh, let's try this knife, that one there. Let's see if that's going to work. Or that one there. Um, yes, so they are a 20 or what are you, a sayings as well. So eight different colors and yeah, to do that. So let's stamp these first and let's see. I think this butterfly might work on it. Uh, Ranger pigment ink. You know my favorites. Gosh, it is really hot here. Let me stop this part here. So I know I, I didn't welcome you properly. So welcome to another video of mine. This is going to be a quickie, hopefully. And um, I hope uh, to all my subscribers, both new and old, a huge welcome to those people that are just viewing uh, my um, uh, my video today. Welcome to you, and I do hope that you consider subscribing at the end of this tutorial. So the idea is to bring you. Um, things that you can do with your scraps so that's done over there then the next thing we want to do is we want to uh, excuse me my my, my my got a little bit of a runny nose nothing serious <laughs> just a runny nose so what we want to do is we want to take these here and let's prepare these as well I have no idea what they are. I'm just picking them up. Let's take a long quote. This is by John Keats and it says, uh, impossible is for the unwilling. <laughs> how true. Uh, I don't know how many we're gonna get through. Okay, and what we're going to do is now we are going to add it to a piece of uh, paper, uh, sorry, cardboard. Um, now, uh, if you notice, I am adding it to a cardboard that is way bigger than the, uh, these are printed on some cardstock, but uh, they are not, uh, sorry, excuse me for that, that was very rude of me. But that's where my uh, my little pin is sitting in order for me to be able to do this. So yesterday I um, tried to clean this, but for some odd reason, it doesn't seem to be working too well. So I think, yeah, let's leave that to one side and let's take out some craft glue. Yes, yeah, so why am I adding it to uh, such a big piece of paper and um, cardboard is because I want to be able to use a pinking shears or any type of decorative uh, a scissor and just go cut it out again. So you can also uh, use coffee uh, uh, dyed paper uh, or cardstock and the reason why mine are white is um as i mentioned to you these are real off cuts coming up from you know, the ephemera that i printed or things like that so uh, that is why you seeing just white uh, because i normally print on white paper to be able to do that right so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to show you how to do this I know I did show it to you in one of the videos. It's not a necessity, but it's just something that we use in order to be able to uh, use up our scraps. And I have the uh, tool, so I'm going to show you how to do it. But this paper here is a little bit thin. Yes, it has to be a certain um, diameter, not diameter, thickness, okay. The width has to be able to fit on this and then you just roll it through and I just guide it with my finger 
as it goes through. And these two thicknesses, uh, I won't say thicknesses, how close you want the uh, um, the lines there. So let's pick this one up here, okay? And uh, let's add that through here. Okay, so I think it's a bit thick. I think it's a bit thick, so let's try this one here, through here. Excuse me, oh my gosh, I'm sniffing. I do apologize. I'm not I'm not doing it on purpose, I promise. Of course I'm not. <laughs> and there's a little bit of a thicker one in terms of the straps. Right, so that's done. Now let's start uh stamping. Okay. Might have to go back to my box. But this is what I'm talking about over here when we're stamping. So, as I said, I might have to go back to my box to pick up some thicker ones, but let's see how it goes and then we'll know, right? So, I guess some of my stamps, and you know how I love these Tim Holtz stamps, I find them so versatile. And let's use these here. Here's my stamper. Oh, there you go, right in front of me. Try that one there. leaving that let's turn these into banners yeah I'm going to just cut out a few because I don't think we'll have time to use all of them but actually I'm silly what I should have done first is I should have distressed them a bit so So what else do we need? I wanted to stamp a wildflower here. So let's do that. Okay. So these the wildflowers, and uh, not all will work, uh, as you can, can see. Some are pretty thick, but I think that one will work, and I think that one will work. Let's try this one today. Now normally i would if i'm stamping a lot of it i definitely would pull out my uh my we are memory keepers um tool of the day to uh, stamp but um yeah i'm not going to be doing a lot probably just one so let's see how badly i'm gonna do this because half of it is on and half is off so let's see Badly. <laughs> Badly. <laughs> so 
a day. You know me. Embrace the change. Embrace the mistakes. And own them. This is a little thick. Hmm. This is a little thick. Let's see if we can get away with one here. It's going to be a little off, but oh, I think I, think I like it. Yay! Look at that. Yeah. I like it. Right, so what next? What next? Let's get our stamps over here and let us distress this. So what do we have? We have this, we have, yes, we have some of our tickets, I mean, so, sorry, some of our uh, items here that we distressed. I didn't distress this one probably because it was sitting the other way. And we have our butterflies and we have our words which should be dry now so let's pull out that um, scissor which seems to be hiding from me yes so that's the one so now you're going to see me cutting as a lefty uh, and it's gonna look very uncomfortable it's not very easy but I really want to get into that just you know get close up to that word so so to other lefties <laughs> the struggle is real I don't know if you're a person that's left-handed and you know how to cut uh, properly by being able to see the item and not just judge it you know normally we'll cut uh well i don't know i don't know maybe it's just a me thing hey uh but uh i will follow the line i won't follow i mean i'll follow the outside of the line i don't know if <laughs> we even making sense one day I will show you what I mean. Oh, there you go. So that's that. So let's ink these up a bit as well. Just so that we can see the lines a bit better. So now what we're going to do is we are going to just and this is ground espresso that I'm using yeah and yes yeah, sorry that you have to see me inking but that was I, I really couldn't cut the uh you know the pieces without showing you what I really mean when I say working with scraps. So I couldn't cut them and ink them before hands. So I apologize for that. I know that not everybody likes to see the inking process and I don't blame you. Oh um me too. I don't want to see the inking process. Um, so let's cut these here into banners. I'm just gonna eyeball the middle. It's 
Let me bring this up. And so I want to show you two methods of doing it. And I am using the bigger ones. Not sure whether I want to use that size. Maybe I'm going to just run and get the smaller ones. Just give me a second, please. Okay. How many of you were saying something, but it is in the same tin that you just pulled out now? Because if you were, you were right. Not pink. Not pink. Um. <laughs> I seriously need to sort this out. Okay. This thing here, oh, I try to never forget not to close it because I think I'll be in serious trouble if I did. All right, so what are we doing? We are going to take one of this and then we are going to take probably one of that and let's cut it down, even tear it. it and add it now it depends how you're using it if you're using it as a dangle hanging down then uh, you're more than welcome to <clears throat> distress the back as well but if you're not then it's you you can just leave it out okay so there we go then and uh, a piece of lace. Yeah. And a butterfly. Yeah. Strange that butterfly. <laughs> that doesn't help right when half of your things fall off yeah i think this is probably the most uh difficult part is holding all these things together and there and then add that there and get this out now you can add a um a bowl pin onto it uh, for the other method that i'm going to show you sure but i don't know where's my ball pins i have to find it i finally found it here in south africa it's almost impossible to find it well where i am i checked in many places sure sure ladies <laughs> am i imagining this or did that really have <laughs> that only has one pen <laughs> okay my luck and I'm looking at it like, oh, what? Yes, so then you can play around with it. Uh, in, in a, move it around how you want to when you put it on. But that's that. And unfortunately, I need to get another one. Because that literally has one stem on it. But we're not going to throw this away. We're going to use it for something. And I think I already know what I'm going to use it for. Uh, coming up in my next video. So this is a long one. So maybe let's add this to it. And a bit of this. 
and now you can add whatever you want to I'm just adding this and uh, so we've got that we've got that and we've got that let's add a bit of lace mm -hmm. I'm cutting the lace here in the side this one just add your little pin to it so this one I didn't add uh, guess what I obviously punched it I don't even need to punch the lace because the lace has holes in it um, just because now the lace is misbehaving Let's just pick it up here. Let's add it to this one here. And do that. Oh, now I lost my placement. Those two together. And that one here. So in this one, I didn't add the butterfly, as you will notice. And there's that one there and then the last one is the flower that I wanted to do so let's look let's use this one and let's lace I mean let's do that now this one is definitely too big for a dangle so I am not even going to bother to do the bags um, let's take oh that's already there that's the that's here let's add a butterfly to this one here and some lace okay so I know that this one is going to be oh something that I'm going to put on the edge of the page Okay, so I'm going to set it out a bit better, how I want it to look. Find a common spot. Oh, did I not add that? Let's add some of this to it. I don't know, that just adds to the texture of it. So what's what's not right here? Right, so there we are. Find a common spot here, maybe. And Add our little eyelet to it, and then let's press that down. Yes, so we are done. Let's see what we created amongst all this mess. These are the ones that we created before. I didn't use acetate because with acetate you're going to let it dry at least overnight so I didn't use acetate and these are the ones that we did uh, today so that's the one okay and the bread offers you the advantage of moving your, your tags around I mean your 
items around to place them how you want to and then that's the other one here so let's move all the junk and let's look at it so that's it so i hope that you enjoyed this mo uh, the movie i hope that you enjoyed this um tutorial and um if you did please consider subscribing if you haven't as yet and please consider joining our um facebook group uh where we post our creations and that's called sunny creates drunk journals while my youtube channel is called sunny creates as well as my etsy shop and my instagram so the only one that's a bit different is the um, facebook group all right so i'll leave the links below have a splendid day further and uh, i'll be back with another episode of um working with your scraps i think maybe we'll call it scrap attack i don't know maybe that's already taken but hashtag scrap attack and we are attacking that scrap heap it won't be a series uh it's just going to be something when i um find that i have some scraps and i have an idea that i'll be showing it to you bye bye take care and have a very blessed day uh from something at sunny creates Ta -ta.